I'm Dr. Mito Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. You can follow me on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and at Skincare by Dr. V. So today's video is quite an important one. I will be talking about ingredient lists specifically and how important they are when it comes to choosing your skincare. example here I have three products that I have formulated these are three different antioxidant serums so this is serum one in fact this was my first version that I made and I saw separation and so that's why I went into serum two but just to show you what this looks like on the hand so when I put it on it had a very thin consistency it does have silicones in it and so it does glide on quite nicely but I just didn't like the feel of how it squirted out it felt very watery this was version two so version two I decided I wanted to make it thicker and I want to avoid any separation so again if you have a look at this it's much thicker it's coming out gloopier it feels more luxurious it's definitely an improvement on version one but again it has the same nutritional value to the skin it has the same percentage actives now the third version i made was i decided i was going to try and make it thicker so as you can see it is gloopier it does look a little bit more like jelly and when i place a little bit on my hand in fact let me put it up here now because that's all it is stickier it's tackier so that afterwards when I put my moisturizer on it actually still felt sticky and tacky and so then when I went to sleep I felt like there were fibers sticking to my skin and it didn't feel nice I would continue to wear this one for example my version 2 and I would never wear my version 3 again however they all have the same ingredients, the same percentage actives in them. I think a lot of people right now are talking about ingredients and how important really are ingredients compared to the experience. And I think really the best analogy for me is when it comes to cakes. So you have two cakes. One is light and fluffy and delicious and the other one is burnt, hard and crispy. You're going to have two different experiences but the nutritional value of the two cakes are the same and so for example if you had diabetes you would want to know how much sugar is in the cakes if you're allergic to anything you would want to know if it's in the cakes and really that is 90% of the reason you would buy that cake or not is if it's going to suit you 10% of it really is the experience because if you don't like the experience you're never going to wear that product again and you're never going to eat that cake again and you're going to throw it in the bin I think for me the most important thing for skin of colour is to make sure there's nothing in there that's going to irritate our skin. So whether it's fragrance, alcohol, denatured alcohol, drying alcohol, whether it's essential oils which can sensitise our skin. If you have oily acne prone skin you want to avoid comedogenic ingredients. There's no point buying a cream that has even one comedogenic ingredient in it because it's going to clog your pores and you know it's going to lead to a breakout. It's just unnecessary. So really the key message for today's video is you have to read the ingredients list first to see if there's anything that's going to harm you and then the actives. How good are the actives? What version of active have you got? Which form of vitamin C? Which form of vitamin A? Which percentage is in the product? You get all of this from the ingredients list, not from the marketing bump. The marketing bump can say things to you like, oh, you know, quenches the thirst on your skin and all this kind of thing. But actually, you can read yourself what's in the product and if it's going to be good for you or not. That's your first port of call. That is the barrier to entry to buying that product. Read through that ingredients list first. If after you like the ingredients list, fine, then buy it and decide if you like the feel of the product. But if that ingredients list has anything in there that's not good for you, then why would you buy it? It, it makes no difference how that cream feels. It makes no difference how smooth it feels or what it smells like or anything else. The most important thing has to be the ingredients list, specifically for skin of color. One thing I'm really enjoying right now is a lot of you follow me on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic are sending me your before and after photos, for example, after you've done my acne routine or my anti-aging routine or my winter skincare routine, etc. And the before and afters really are 
incredible and I love to share them and share the love and show how we treat skin of color. If you've seen great results with any of my videos, please do send me your before and after photos on Instagram, just even if it's you don't want me to share it and it's just for me to see. Honestly, it just makes me work harder for you and it just gives me so much joy. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to download your free guide for skincare for skin of color. The link is down below. It goes through all the best and worst ingredients for our skin and what we should be avoiding. If you've got any other questions or any other videos you want me to make, can you also write them down below too? Thank you very much.